Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're all doing well. I have been in quarantine for the last few days. Uh, well, last couple weeks actually. So I'm filming this at home, but I hope all of you guys are doing well and I will be back uh, at church on Sunday. So I'm looking forward to that. I wasn't able to be there last week because I was in quarantine, but I'm almost done. So I'm excited about that, but I hope you guys are doing well. So that's why obviously things look a little bit different here because I'm filming this at home in quarantine. But today I've got a little trick I want to show you with this, this deck of cards here. Oh, do you guys like magic tricks? Because I know I've always been a big fan. I always think they're pretty cool. And I know I've done some stuff on some of these videos before actually where some of you guys have really wanted to know how I did what I did or how a trick worked and I'm kind of that same way you ever just you ever see something happen or see somebody do something a trick or a magic trick of some kind and you're like I gotta know how it happened why how that worked how does it work well let's see today just a real I got a real simple one for you got this fun deck of cards here with all sorts of all sorts of superheroes and comic book stuff on it. All right, there's Cap. But what I'm gonna do is just a regular deck of cards, nothing fancy. But I'm gonna hold this deck here and uh, I'm just gonna use one finger here, just one finger. And I'm gonna make the best superhero in this whole deck and the best superhero of all time come up using just this finger. You ready? Let's see. Who's going to be? Oh, almost there. Ooh. Spider-Man. Did you guess that? All right, let's put him back down. Just one finger. Nothing, nothing special about the cards. You know how I did it? Well, if you don't know how I did it, I'm not going to tell you. The magician never reveals his secrets, right? But I'm, I'm sure you're, you guys want to know. Anytime we see a trick, we see something happen, we want to know how it happens or why it happened, right? I'm always that way. You see something, a trick, and I'm like, I got to figure out, like, how did he do that? And I think in life, sometimes, sometimes we do the same thing. You know, something happens in our life and we don't know, why did that happen? And we want to ask God, like, why did you happen? Or how did you do that, God? Or why why did that happen? And we want to know how God works and why he does the things he does. Just like when we see somebody do a trick of some kind and we don't know how it happened or why did that happen, we want to know how it works and why that happened. But a magician never reveals his secrets, right? You know, when a magician tells us exactly how he did a trick, that kind of takes takes the magic, takes the fun out of it, right? And sometimes God does things, uh, and we don't understand why he did them or, or how he did them. We, we want to know, but he doesn't tell us. And that's okay, right? Just like it's okay that we don't know all the, all the tr ways a magician does his tricks, or you guys don't know how I did that that's okay and that's part of the fun of it that's part of the experience of it and god's kind of the same way sometimes he does things and we want to know why or how he did things but god wants us to to trust him and there has to be we have to have faith in god there would would there be any faith if god just tells us exactly how and why he did everything because um, god ways god's ways are higher and way better than than our ways and we don't need to know why or how he does everything I want to read a couple verses for you. It comes from Isaiah 55, verse 8 and 9. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. God knows more than we do, and he's way more powerful than we, we are. So if he does things that we don't know why he does them or how he does them, that's okay. We have trust and know that God is, like that verse says, his thoughts are way higher than our thoughts, and he's way more powerful than we are. And we're not going to know how he does everything he does or why. And that's okay. That's why we have faith and trust God.
because even when we don't know why or how he does something, we know that God is good and he is way stronger and more powerful than we are and we can trust him knowing that whatever he does, it's for the best, right? All right, I'm gonna pray and we'll call it a day. God, I just thank you so much, Lord, for the way that you direct our lives, God, and that you take care of us. God, we don't always understand how or why you do things, um, but help us to remember that that's okay, that you are stronger and smarter than us, and we don't need to know how or why you do everything, but just to trust in you, knowing that you're doing what's best. I love you, and pray all those things in Jesus' name. Amen. See you guys.